Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Charlie Walker. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use one single software to scrape cold email, send cold email, respond to those positive and negative responses, how you can set appointments with those people that respond all from one single software. Let's jump right in. I'm gonna walk you through how I'm doing this currently. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you think this content is helpful. And the software we're going to be using today to do all of this is called High Level. And if you want to test it out, there's a 14-day free trial. If you go through my link below, I'll actually give you access to this course that's going to give you a ton of information about how everything works and also give you some plug-and-play campaigns, including the Facebook ads, emails, funnels, text messages, all that. All right, let's jump back to the video. All right, so the first thing we will do is actually scrape these emails. Where do we get emails from to send cold email campaigns? There's a lot of different ways you can do it. You can go to Fiverr, you can go to Upwork. Uh, you can also use uh, softwares that already scrape them for you, like uh, Lead Carrot, which is what I'm using, D7 Lead Finder, Lead Kahuna, uh, Lead Gorilla, some of the other ones like that. I like Lead Carrot because I can actually run it inside. Uh, this is high level, go high level, which is the software that I'm using to run my agency. I don't have to leave any of, like I don't have to leave it and I don't have to, download CSVs and clean them, format them, and import them in, I can actually just scrape the leads from here and then push them into the campaigns. So that's what I'm gonna show you now. So I've typed in uh, mortgage broker in Houston and it has returned 205 uh, people that have email addresses. Uh, and so next, all I have to do is push to CRM. Now you wanna make sure that you already have tags that are set up that you want uh, but this one, I'm going to choose Texas. So it's going to take these 205 leads, put them into my CRM with the tag Texas. So uh, if I go into my contacts list, I'm going to see those contacts. They're going to show up. And the next step is how do you actually push these leads that you've scraped into an actual cold email campaign? So that's number two. Now I'm assuming here, oh, it was a bug. I'm assuming here that uh, you guys already are familiar with how to send emails through high level and all the back end is set up. If you're not familiar with that, make sure you get my course below. Um, uh, it's free for subscribing to high level. What you'll do is now you're in your, your <clears throat> sorry, now you're in your contacts. You want to try to find the contacts that you would like to send into your campaign. So before we do that, we actually need to make sure that you have your campaign set up. So you're gonna find your campaign in, in marketing and then campaigns. I'm gonna open up in a second tab. So I found the campaign that I wanna send it to. It's in draft mode. I wanna make sure that it's, in, it's published uh, and make sure that I've got this tag here for me. I do not want to allow multiple. I'm just checking a few things on my end here. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and now that I have the campaign that I want and that the campaign is, is scheduled, I'm gonna come over here and find the the, the emails that I want to push to that, to that campaign. So I'm going to, I'm going to go into to filters here and I'm going to set up a couple filters. Tag is the one that we just mentioned, which is Texas. And I have been sending cold email on this thing for quite a while and they could be in multiple campaigns. So I also want to do a tag where the tag is not cold emailed and I had a thing, so cold emailed actually. So the tag is not cold emailed actually. Um, so they haven't, I haven't already emailed them. And, I, and the tag is Texas. So I'm running a campaign for Texas. And I could put specific language in the copy of the, the email that says, hey, I'm looking for somebody in Texas that can handle more mortgage leads. But in this case, I'm not exactly going to do that. So the next step that now that I've got my leads that I want to select is just click add to campaign. After I click select all. So uh, select all 655 records um, and I'm going to click add to campaign. And now high level has got some things that are set up to where you can't just blast 600 and something people or more, but I also have something else that I'm going to do. So I'm going to add them in drip mode and I'll show you what that means in a second. So I'm going to select my campaign. I believe it is that one. I don't really want a description. Okay. Uh, so YouTube test or YouTube video. I want it to, st it's a little bit late here. I want it to start tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna say Tuesday, uh, 7.30. It doesn't really matter because it's gonna, we're gonna be able to show when the hours start. So I'm gonna do about 20 
every 15 minutes. And you know, so that's that's what 80 per 80 per hour. Um, and I'm going to run it from I like to I like to have some emails in the inbox before the loan officers get up. So I like to start a little bit earlier. Uh, and then I'm going to run it actually until until about 6:30. So as simple as that, I'm going to click Add to Campaign, and it's going to start sending 20 emails every 15 minutes tomorrow morning. You can do Saturday, Sunday. I like to I like to leave Saturday, Sunday on because I kind of wake up to a lot of good uh, a lot of good emails on Mondays when they start checking their email, and that kind of fills my pipeline up for the week. Uh, so I'm going to click Add to Campaign, just triple checking some things. Yep, Add in Drip Mode. Boom, Add to Campaign. They have all been added to uh, that campaign. Uh, and then I wait. And then I would wait for some cold emails. So I've got some other emails that I've already sent. I mean, I've sent a ton of cold emails from this. Um, so we're going to go to one that, uh, just to show you how you would handle a positive response or a negative response and how that all works. All right, so we, I showed you how to scrape cold email. I showed you how to send cold email. Now I'm going to show you how to handle responses positive or negative and find a time that works for them to talk with you. Uh, so you're going to go into conversations. And this is where you're going to see all of your responses. And you're sending cold emails, so you're going to get a lot of uh, stop. What I always do, um, and I got this from, I believe, Joel Kaplan, I'll say reply details if this is something that's interesting to you or reply stop if you're not interested. And the yeses or the responses, even if you're saying stop, it kind of helps your helps you not go to spam quite as much. So, anyways, let's find one where somebody was. Uh, this guy was was interested. Um, okay, let's follow this email train here. All right, so I found another one. This guy ended up being becoming a client, so this is kind of a great a great one. So let's see if I can get to the root of the uh, calls. A root of the cold email. All right, this is one that actually ended up being a client, so this is a good example. So I just had some, this one was like, a, a, I think I started off with a trial, a trial offer, uh, and then, let's see, he responded to, to, to one of them. We had some conversations back and forth. Um, and then one thing that I would do once they, once they respond positively, is, so this was the initial one, Okay, so I sent one saying, back, hey, I'm not going to send any more information about this. He said, please provide some additional information. We had some back and forth. We found some times that worked. But one thing that I always make sure to do is um, you'll see that he is in the, uh, oh, he, he was in, he's a no-show. He ended up did showing. You want to make sure that you, you put them in your pipeline as a positive response so that later if they fall off the rails, you can make sure that you can stay on top of them. So what you can do is, once you're responding back and forth to them about figuring out a time, you can actually click schedule right here in this inter in this pane, and you can actually set a call. So I have either an intro call or a demo call. So I would click intro call, and it's going to look on my calendar and find times that are open, and it's going to pick a time, and all I would have to do, I don't have to do anything else except click save, and it'll send um, a notification to me and Avery just we can see, you know, this is what happened when I did it. Uh, your 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 appointment is confirmed, et cetera, et cetera, um, and it'll follow up with them as well over time to make sure that they're showing up to their appointments. Um, and it'll obviously show up down here in reporting, appointment report, or well, um, that's where you can see your appointments. Uh, but scheduling, you can see all of your appointments. Um, you know, depending on how you want to show it, date added versus, yeah, so he would have shown up right here. And so I can get quick access to all the information I need to know about him. I can see the conversation and go, I can also leave notes. Um, and in fact, I did leave notes about his situation, what his pain points are, um, how long he's been struggling with this, that kind of thing. 
you like this content, if you think it was helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe it. And like I said, I've got, if, if you're interested in high level, um, I've got a 14 day free trial. If you use the link below, you're gonna get access to the premium course that I'm showing you here, including some premium snapshots that I have custom built, um, including also a cold email masterclass where I'm gonna talk through in more detail about how all of this works, how you can make this work from, from scratch to finish. Uh, because it can be a little bit confusing of how to set everything up, how to set it up on Mailgun, all of that. So if you wanna avoid all the confusion, um, jump right in and, and click the link below um, and, I'll, and I'll get you all set. And, and thanks again, and, and look, let me know what, what industries are you working with? What clients do you have? Um, because I'm gonna be building out additional snapshots and again, snapshots is just your whole, it's your Facebook ads, your funnels, your SMS, your email. It's all of that, all in one simple snapshot that you can download and install. But let me know what industries you're looking for. What should I continue to build out? Drop that in the comments. Let me know what you guys are, are working on and I'll see you guys in the next video.